Let's learn how to interface RFID reader RYRR10S from Reax Technologies with Arduino Uno. We will read RFID or NFC tag and generate a BIP. This video is brought to you by Altium 365. It's the place where world design electronics. Let me tell you reason why you should use Altium for your next PCB design project. So here let's say I want to use a triple five timer IC. I would just search into the manufacturer part list triple five timer IC and I get the part here. I not only get the part here but I also get the schematic symbol and PCB footprint. And PCB footprint also will be available in 2D and 3D view. So all built in integrated into the Altium uh, PCB design itself. So let's say if I want to read more about the part that I want to use. So let's say this chip that I want to use it. So I click this part number and then I will be presented with the manufacturer web page where I could read about this document. It is because the Octo part which is the world fastest and the largest component search engine will be built in and integrated with the Altium itself. So there is no reason why you should not consider using Altium for your next PCB design project. I have given link in a video description. Please give it a try and I hope you will enjoy working with Altium for your next PCB design project. So here we have RFID and NFC reader from Reax Technologies. I don't know if you can see the part name it's RYRR10S so this RFID reader also supports the NFC cards and we will going to read the NFC or RFID tags through this RFID reader by connecting to Arduino Uno so for this communication to work we are using UART communication protocol that means uh, TX and RX pins on the module here onto the RYRR10X RFID or NFC reader so if you look at the back side of this module you can able to see that there is a names that's given so the first pin on the left side is a ground then there is a TXT, RXT and VDD. So to connect this uh, RFID or NFC reader with Arduino Uno, we need a male to female jumper wire. So I will going to take the first jumper wire here and I will connect to the ground pin. Okay, and the ground will going to connect to the ground on the Arduino Uno. So that's how we will going to connect. Then we take another jumper wire and we will have to connect the another jumper wire so the second from the left is a tx pin so we will connect the tx pin onto the rfid reader module and that would connect to pin number four on arduino uno so this is zero one two three four because we are using software serial library and for that we are not using the tx and rx pin on arduino uno then we take another jumper wire and we connect to the RX pin on the RFID or NFC reader and that would connect to the pin number 5 on Arduino Uno. So that's how the TX and RX is connected. Now finally we need one more jumper wire and we connect to the VDD on the RFID reader and this will going to connect to the 3.3 volt on the other side of the Arduino Uno. That's how we will going to connect this RFID reader with Arduino Uno. To see the the names, the TX, RX and ground, I kept it like this, but usually this module will be something like this. This looks much better. And let me fix it so it would not move anywhere. And then I have to take the buzzer. This is a pizza buzzer that we have to connect. So we will have to connect to the pin number 11. This is like uh, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So the longer leg of the pizza buzzer will connect to the pin number 11 and the shorter leg will connect to the ground. So that's how we will connect the RFID or NFC reader from Reax Technologies. So here is the Arduino code that we will going to upload on Arduino Uno which takes care of the communication of an Arduino with RFID reader from Reax Technologies. So the code starts with a software serial library. So we have added the software serial library because we don't want to use TX and RX pin on Arduino Uno. Rather we want to use pin number 4 as an RX and pin number 5 as a TX and that's why we created this NFC serial object for serial communication and then we have this pizzo pin uh, variable that we have declared and we have assigned to pin number 11 because uh, we have connected a pizzo buzzer pizzo sensor to pin number 11 on arduino uno then we have created quite a few variable like response byte received buffer position and received data so received data array basically stored the data coming from the rfid tag or nfc tag then going forward you can see 
that we have created few more variable data length receive id and receive complete so receive complete is basically a boolean variable and this variable help us understand tracking whether the received is completed on the rfid reader side or not and then we created three functions so init nfc is the function which basically takes care the initialization of an rfid reader or nfc reader and then we have this another function that we have defined which is a serial receive function so this takes care the data coming from the rfid tag and then we have a scan tag function so this function basically scan all the time from rfid reader and it will scan for if the rfid reader detect any rfid or nfc tag then you can see we created few more arrays so info command is an array which is where we have we are writing 0x01 and 0x00 this is the command that we have to write to rfid reader so our rfid reader will send the short information about the rfid reader on to the arduino side so it will print some information which is basically device information which is basically factory default but this command writing this command will initialize the rfid reader then we created another array so it is basically a protocol command iso 14443a damn name by but that's basically the name of the uh, array and that's basically a command so whenever we write this four byte of data to rfid reader so rfid reader will be set for supporting an protocol which is iso or iec standard so which is it is basically 14443a which is basically a communication standard which rfid reader supports to communicate with Arduino or the host PC. So in this case, we are communicating this RFID reader with Arduino Uno. So we have to write this command in order to make our Arduino, in order to make our RFID reader to set for this communication standard or the protocol. And then we have a detect command. So when we write this four byte of data to the RFID reader, which basically start receiving the data coming from RFID reader. So basically these are the three core commands that would help us from Arduino to initialize and read the RFID reader. Now, if you wonder where this information is coming from, then you might want to check out the data sheet. And in the data sheet, you have this, uh, this command for initialization. So this is the command that we have used 0x01 and 00 for uh, NFC in it. And then we, when we go for protocol select command, and if we scroll down here, in the data sheet you can see here are this four bytes of data that we have to write to the rfid reader in order to select the protocol and you can see it says uh, iso iec 14443a which is basically an rf uh, iso standard to communicate this rfid reader and then we have the third command which is basically receive command and if we scroll down a little bit in the document you can see here is this four bytes so 0x 04 02 26 and 07 and this is the same command that we are writing if you want to know more about it you can find the link in the video description so you can download and read in your free time so going forward into the code you can see in a setup function we initialize the serial communication and when we initialize the serial communication on the arduino site for serial monitor to use it we are setting up the baud rate 9600 then we have a pin mode uh, function which basically uh, make the pin number 11 that is where we have connected the piezo buzzer and we have to set up as an output because we want to generate a bip and then we have given a decent amount of delay and then we call this function init nfc which basically initialize the NF nfc or the rfid reader and then in a loop function we are continuously calling the scan tag function and uh, the scan tag function as I said before it will continuously scanning for if RFID reader detect any NFC or RFID tag So going forward into the code you can see the implementation of init NFC function and in init NFC function Which basically initialize the NFC or RFID reader you can see we have used this object NFC serial object And then we initialize the serial communication serial UART and we set the baud rate 57600 and now you might wonder okay why we set this baud rate as a 5700 57600 so this is because if you go to the documentation again and if you go to communication protocol and UART communication you can see the default baud rate for this RFID reader is 57600 which is basically a default 
uh, baud rate for this RFID reader to communicate with any other device. In this case, it's an Arduino Uno. And then we give a decent amount of delay. Then we say serial NFC serial dot write. So basically we are writing this info command, which initialize or maybe return the short information about RFID reader. And this is basically a two byte of data, as I said before uh, earlier. And then we give some decent amount of delay. And then we call this function show serial data. So this is basically the this function basically reads the data coming from RFID reader and it will print on serial monitor. Then everything else is just printing on a screen. But the important thing is here we have NFC serial write and here we are writing a protocol command to the RFID reader so that our RFID reader will set for this ISO or IEC 14443A ISO IEC standard for communication protocol. So by writing this command, we will basically set the protocol or the ISO or IEC standard for communication on the Arduino and NFC reader. And then we given some decent amount of delay again and then we print uh, show serial data because we just want to print something that is coming the response coming from the RFID reader and the response will be I think 0x00 or something. When we upload the code then you can able to see it on a serial monitor. Then uh, the important thing is here we have this function serial receive function and this serial receive function basically NFC serial dot available so it checks if it receives any data so if RFID reader receives any data and if it receives any data then it will read uh, every single character because we will receive character byte one byte information at a time and we will store into this variable and then we we basically get a four byte of data so the first byte of data so first position received is basically a response so this first if statement basically get the response coming from the RFID reader to Arduino Uno. The second byte will be read here. So the, the next position is position one that we are checking here. And uh, that is basically a length uh, of how much data that we receive. And the furthermore third and fourth byte is not very important for us. But then we keep uh, storing this data coming from uh, the RFID tag to the RFID reader into this receive data array and basically all this is pretty self-explanatory I don't think I have to speak about it but here in a receive complete basically we check if the receive is completed or not and then going forward on the code we have this scan tag function and in a scan tag function basically what is happening here is we are writing this command NFC serial so through UART we are writing this uh, detect command to the RFID reader so what basically happens is by writing this command this is a four byte of data we start receiving the data coming from the RFID reader to the Arduino because whenever the RFID reader detect the RFID tag then it throw some information into the hexadecimal so that is what we will start receiving after writing this this command and then we put some decent amount of delay and then we check through if statement if we received any serial data then once we receive some data then this function serial receive function will basically receive that data and it will check uh, the first byte will be 0x80 hex so the first byte is basically the error code so if we receive the first byte response byte is 0x80 that means uh, the communication means uh, we have successfully received correct data on to the uh, Arduino side or the NFC reader so the data coming from NFC reader so NFC reader is sending data to Arduino and the Arduino has to check whether it's it's correct or not the data and that's basically the first byte if if the first byte is 0 x 80 hex that means the communication is working fine and we are receiving correct data then going forward into the code look at this we print on a serial monitor tag detected so whenever the first byte is 0 x 80 then everything is going well so the tag detected will be printed and then this is basically just putting into the for loop and we basically receive the 8 byte of data subsequent data that we receive from the RFID or NFC reader then we print it into the decimal format and uh, if we don't receive 0 x 80 so look at this this is the if statement if this if statement comes true this if statement comes true if the first byte of data after receiving 0 x 80 then everything goes well we detect the tag so we print on a serial monitor tag detected and 
then we will be printing that in first we print that into the hexadecimal format and then we are printing into the decimal format so that's basically what it's written into the code but what if we don't receive 0x80 hex then it will print no tag detected okay that means the tag is not detected by Arduino or the RFID reader and then if the tag is detected if the received ID is 4000 so this is basically 4000 will be set as an NFC or RFID tag information coming from every RFID uh, tag this is basically set uh, by a factory default as we buy any RFID tag by default it will be 4000 this is basically um, the information that we are reading onto the Arduino and if it's true then it will print tag detected here and then it will call this tone function I hope you know how to uh, use the stone function so the first parameter is the pin on which we have to generate a bit so that is pin number 11 and then we have a frequency 1000 Hertz and then we, we have to pass the duration how long we want to bip so it's 500 milliseconds so it's basically a decent amount of bip uh, you can easily hear and then we have uh, given 500 uh, milliseconds of delay and then every time we have to clean the receive ID so uh, it will uh, loop through all the time and it will always detect for new tag if it detects every I think if you look at into the loop function here on the top we are scanning we are calling the scan tag function every half a second so 500 milliseconds right and uh, that's pretty much the code is and the show serial data function is basically print all the hexadecimal information coming into the hexadecimal format the data coming from the RFID tag that's basically coming from the RFID reader because RFID reader will detect the information which is sent by RFID tag so what RFID tag sends is what RFID reader reads and that's what the Arduino reads onto the UART and print onto the serial monitor so let me upload this code on Arduino Uno and see if we can able to detect the RFID tag and if we can able to BIP so go to tools and make sure the board is selected Arduino Uno and then the port is selected COM3 in my case and let me upload the code so this might take a few seconds so look at in a lower left corner it says done uploading and now I go to tools and open a serial monitor and um, look at this so this is the information that the RFID um, um, reader has sent so this is basically comes when we initialize the NFC um, reader or RFID reader then sending the protocol settings so this is basically to write uh, the protocol selection command that's a four byte of data and this is the response and now I can just check this auto scroll and make sure the baud rate is 9600 selected so let me take RFID tag and put on the top of RFID reader you see it beeps now I take another type of RFID tag and you see it works